Do I have to file ISF for beverage and wine machine parts? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing an important topic related to customs brokerage and compliance, the Importer Security Filing, or ISF, for beverage wine machine parts. If you're involved in the import of these items, it's crucial to understand whether you need to file an ISF. So, let's dive right in. Before we address the question of whether ISF filing is required for beverage wine machine parts, let's quickly recap what importer security filing entails. ISF is a mandatory filing requirement enforced by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for most shipments entering the United States by ocean vessel. It is also commonly known as the 10 plus 2 rule, referring to the 10 data elements required from the importer and the two data elements needed from the carrier. To determine whether ISF filing is required for beverage wine machine parts, we need to consider a few factors. First and foremost, the nature of the items being imported plays a crucial role. If your beverage wine machine parts fall under the category of non-containerized cargo or bulk cargo, then ISF filing is not required. However, if they are containerized, the ISF filing requirement applies. Now, let's discuss the specific exemptions that may apply to beverage wine machine parts. While most containerized shipments require ISF filing, certain exemptions can waive this requirement. For example, if the imported merchandise is not intended for consumption in the United States but rather for immediate exportation or transportation in bond, then ISF filing is not mandatory. Additionally, ISF filing may also be exempted if the shipment is being entered by a government agency. If your beverage wine machine parts do not qualify for any exemptions and are subject to ISF filing, it's important to understand the consequences of non-compliance. Failing to file or filing an incomplete or inaccurate ISF can result in hefty penalties, cargo holds, and delays in customs clearance. The CBP takes this requirement seriously, and as an importer, it's your responsibility to ensure compliance. To fulfill the ISF filing requirement for your beverage wine machine parts, you need to gather the necessary information and submit it within the designated time frame. Generally, the ISF must be filed at least 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto an ocean vessel bound for the United States. It's crucial to work with an experienced customs broker who can assist you in correctly completing the ISF and submitting it on time. Whether you need to file an ISF for your beverage wine machine parts depends on whether they are containerized or fall under any exemptions. Understanding and complying with the ISF requirement is essential to avoid penalties and delays in customs clearance. Remember, working with a reputable customs broker can greatly facilitate the process and ensure proper compliance with all applicable regulations. Thank you for watching our video. We hope the information provided about ISF filing for beverage wine machine parts was useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more informative content about customs brokerage, customs bonds, and international trade. We look forward to bringing you more valuable insights in our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below. Until then, take care and have a successful importation journey.